Today I'm going to show the simplest way to add text to any object uh, in SelfCAD. So we're going to start with something kind of a rounded object. So it could be any object, but just not to use a cube that is flat, just to show something I can round. Uh, but I'm not going to use bending. If I use the bending approach, I can bend them round, especially with the new um, dynamic origin and so on. But uh, using round in this case could be the same with any complex object. So I'm going to go to the freehand drawing and I'm going to actually unhide this so I get an idea what's happening. And I'm going to choose the text tool and I need to type over here the text. So in this case, my text is I typed in self-cat. So I'm going to start simply drawing the text over here. And let's say I do something like this and I type self-cat. So now I'm going to finalize this and depending on my height, this extruded. And I'm going to rotate this around my X by negative 90. Um, so I got this like this, and then let's move it up to position it. So now I'm positioning it. It's not perfectly in center, but for this demonstration, it's definitely good. So now let's say I want to have this stick out that much and be positioned like this. So there's actually a few ways I can do it. The simplest way is first that I'm going to take these two objects and I'm going to do first I need to make a copy of this because you're going to need to reuse this object. So in this is a simple case, you can kind of redo it, uh, but in general you should make a copy. So in this case, I'm going to center both of my objects so I can easily position another object in the center. So those are centered, that's fine. So I'm just going to create another one. So now we're going to go to the stitch and scoop tool and we're going to use the uh, difference. So I'm actually going to subtract the subtraction actually will cut out in case you want to subtract. So that's not um, always what you want to do. So this is just an idea if you want to cut out, but that's not what I intended to do actually. Just mistake said so this, uh, um, this side, that's what I did. This kind of engraving, if you want to engrave this, but that's not what I want to do. So I want to show the intersection part. If I use the intersection tool, this kind of removes this part. It gives me only what intersects. So this part actually intersects and it gives me this. So if I want to go with this approach, so let's say if I do this approach, let's apply it and I confirm this, I'm left with only this object. So now what I need to do is I need to add another object to the scene. So I'm going to add, let's say this object, I'm going to center this object. That's why I centered it before. So it's positioned properly. Actually, I thought I had it positioned. Oh, okay. Because I centered this, but not this one. So now I need to move this again out to position it. So it is better you make a copy first. But nevertheless, I move this out so I can position it like this still the way I want this to be. And I can take these two objects. Let's say this is still, what you get this effect is that this is rounded from the outside. I got the cut rounded. But you need to position it now again. Actually, even if I had a copy, you would still need to pull it out. Because an intersection means it shows me only what's included. That's why it gets rounded, because it's included here the way it was rounded. So... And if you want it to be really smooth, you need to add more resolution to this object, make this object more rounded. Either use rounding or use the tool to create this object where you can add more details to it, which should be completely rounded. So this may not be as flat. But then it will kind of clip off at the edges over here. So you do need to pull it out a little bit in this case. And then you can go to stitch and scoop again. And now you can make a union, simple union. This will stitch it together. And now you have this object perfectly the text perfectly positioned it's it's rounded from the previous operation the second operation is kind of um, stitching them together so that's one one approach i'm going to show another approach that may or may not be easier but i like to use that approach as well so i'm going to undo all of these operations so what i did before so let's undo this um, undo this as well so i have two separate objects but now what i'm going to do is is it's still flat this object is still flat um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add thickness to this object and give me the exact how thick I want this to be because the boolean tool works with volume so if this has some volume it will actually work um, maybe I have I think I have another tool where I explain it uh, another video where I explain it in depth how the boolean work why it matters volume but for now let me just show you how this works so I'm going to go to add thickness and I'm going to add the thickness that I want this how thick this to be rounded after rounding so in this case let's say I want it to be only one uh, unit thick so I added thickness to this and this adds if I add one it adds from the outside that negative one will add from the inside so in this case it doesn't matter I have enough space sticking out over here and now we're going to use the same tool go stitch and scoop and you're going to use the same intersection tool 
So you're using the section, but now you get this beautiful cut. So again, it's not as smooth because the original object didn't have enough details. I need to round this object, make it more details, uh, detailed. But nevertheless, you see it's, it's quite nicely uh, done. But it's the same thing as before. It removes the original object. So you need to make an original copy. I mean, a cylinder is easy to add another one and position it again. But it comes to another object. If you're dealing with any existing mesh, you definitely need to make a copy first. But even if you make a copy, this will kind of go the edges so you then need to pull it out again a little bit and position it but that's basically will give you the exact position and this should work in any in any other tool there's other ways of doing it many other ways of doing it uh, you can draw a profile a wrap an object so but that's more an advanced way um, you can take an image and project them uh, there's a new tool which is uh, over here a follow path tool that can do it there's many different ways but this still by far is the easiest way to do it so yeah hope this was helpful and if you like it please uh, like subscribe and uh, watch my other videos on this channel thank you have a great day bye.